Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. King Charles III was greeted by thousands of well-wishers as he arrived at Buckingham Palace today where he would meet with Commonwealth representatives, while his mother Queen Elizabeth II's coffin heads to Westminster Abbey for her state funeral, after a historic journey from Balmoral to Edinburgh. As Britain's new monarch was driven through the palace gates in his state Rolls Royce at around 1 p.m. accompanied by a motorcade of four cars and four police motorcycles, cheered and waved to the crowds lining the mall, including excited young children sitting on top of parents' shoulders taking photos with their phones. After arriving at Buckingham Palace, the king was followed by his wife Camilla, queen consort, who was also cheered by mourners. Charles will meet Commonwealth General Secretary Patricia Scotland at 2 p.m. today, followed by a reception with high commissioners and their spouses from countries where he is head of state in the bow room of the royal residence. At 3.30 p.m., the Dean of Windsor will be received by the King, who was formally proclaimed yesterday at St. James's Palace. A number of guests will attend including Foreign Secretary James Cleverly and High Commissioners for Antigua and Barbuda, Bahamas, Belize, Canada, Grenada, New Zealand, St. Christopher and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as well as the Honorary Consul of Tuvalu and the Acting Australian High Commissioner. In the weeks leading up to his late mother's state funeral at Westminster Abbey and burial at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, following her death at Balmoral on Thursday, the King and Queen will tour the four home nations. From Edinburgh, Cardiff and Hillsborough castles to the devolved parliaments of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, to the far-flung capitals of Canada, Australia and New Zealand, the King was proclaimed head of state today at a swath of ceremonies across Britain and the Commonwealth. Yesterday, following a meeting of the ancient Norman era accession council, the late Queen's eldest son, who automatically became King three days ago, was formally proclaimed King in a historic ceremony at St. James's Palace in London. Crowds gathered along the Royal Mile as the Royal Company of Archers, the King's bodyguard for Scotland, and the Guard of Honour marched from Castle Esplanade to Mercat Cross. In Edinburgh, soldiers from the Royal Regiment of Scotland joined them for a drill in front of the cross. After the last round of the 21-gun salute was fired, a bugler sounded a 40-second fanfare before the band of the Royal Irish Regiment played one verse of God Save the King following the proclamation ceremony in Hillsborough. Three cheers were offered to Charles III by guests at the event, including Northern Ireland Secretary Chris Heaton Harris, Northern Ireland Office Minister Steve Baker, DUP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson, Alliance Party leader Naomi Long, Ulster Unionist leader Doug Beatty, and traditional Unionist voice leader Jim Ollister. In Cardiff Castle, the Wales Herald of Arms Extraordinary, Tom Lloyd, and the Lord Lieutenant of South Glamorgan, Morfudd Meredith, read the proclamation of the new king in English and Welsh. On the morning of the proclamation, 26 men of the 3rd Battalion the Royal Welsh marched to the castle from City Hall along Boulevard de Nantes, North Road, and Duke Street. Lance Corporal Schenken IV, a Welsh billy goat, and goat Major Sergeant Mark Jackson, the regimental mascot, accompanied them.